Hello there, welcome back. I am Angela from Arteri.com. This is just a, a quick video. <laughs> I mean it this time. It's just another mystery box that I've received uh, from... Um, what am I like? I can't even remember where from. Honestly, my memory. Anyway, I have had a look inside and I can't remember if this was part of it or not because I don't normally buy glitter paste so it was either part of this box or oh, hang on I'm just going to move this camera a bit forward it's better stretching my arms right back yeah I can't remember where I got this because like I say I don't normally buy stuff like this I only really get it as part of um, a package or a bundle or a, a mystery box so but I thought I would give it a, a little try and I just think that's it's really pretty so I can't imagine that I wouldn't use this but anyway I'll put that to one side because I can't remember if it came out of this box something else that I know didn't come out of this box but I don't know what to do with it mineral mica is that pronounced mica cosmic shimmer it's like a mineral mica are small natural mica pieces that create a shimmering granite effect on any project Use over adhesive products or mix with other mediums to create different effects. Right, okay. So that's that would be similar to you to glitter and I'll put that to one side. Good put my box to one side and start grabbing things out of it. So first of all I'll take out the things that I do know how to use. <laughs> uh, this is a really pretty dye what's it called daisy blooms I think that is absolutely gorgeous and I imagine that could be coloured in quite nicely and put on a card it's, that's oops I keep forgetting to check whether I'm in uh, in view or not I'll try and remember that's really nice daisy blooms from creative expressions this is an embossing folder from creative expressions it's not a 3d one but it's I, I like the look of it I really do that looks really nice and I love my embossing folders and this is a nice wide one so I should be able to get a nice coverage over whichever project I decide to make that's that's lovely I can never the two things that I can never have enough of are sentiments and embossing folders I'm just obsessed with both of them and stencils are always welcome as well this is a seven by seven stencil henna petals that's lovely very nice that would make a lovely card background as well or perhaps for some other project now we're coming oh yes these are the things i do know what to do with but i'm not sure if i would use them so these are texture paste but different colors this is graceful peach and you just add it like you would add it any other texture paste i'll leave a link up there on how to use it and how to make your own so that we, what did i say that was graceful peach and we have here this is a really this is a really bright green this is lime burst I'm not sure what I think of that but this is gorgeous I love blue this is graceful mint that is really really nice let me have a look at that actually that is a beautiful color can you see how shimmery that is that's just gorgeous I'll open these other ones maybe this one's not as yucky as it seems on the inside I don't know if I would use that but I suppose I wonder if it could be mixed with this to sort of subdue it down a little bit I don't know why is that empty this is the first time I've opened it I have no idea why it's empty um, does it just need what is wrong with that are these things that have been returned that nobody wants because hmm I'm going to look into that because that is empty and I've never used it what's this one graceful mustard yeah so the, none of them are particularly full but this one it's practically empty. I'm going to give it a stir, see if that makes a difference. This is the silly brush that I use just for everything but painting. Oh, 
yeah look at that this has gone off <laughs> this has absolutely gone off I can't use that for anything does anybody know if there's a way to water this down to sort of reactivate it I'm upset about that I think I'll complain about that actually yeah that's no good is it Ooh, I'm very miffed about that Right, oh, and there's, a, there's another die here that I missed earlier. That's beautiful. Tiger Blooms. That is absolutely gorgeous. That's the die. I really, really like that. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to put these away and try and forget I'm annoyed. Right, so what else do we have here? What is this? Well, it has Chinese writing on, so I guess I'll never know what it is. But whatever it is, there's two of it. A green and a blue. So that kind of goes with that. And that kind of goes with that. So, is it a glitter pen? I'll just find some paper. Okay, yeah, that's like a glitter pen type of thing, like a texture pen. What do you think? Not sure if you can see it because my camera's decided to be silly again. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I would use these either. Yeah, so you sort of press it down to get more stuff out and it is very glittery, very shimmery. I'm just not really sure what I would use that for. Right, what is this? This is Vivid's Indigo Blue, perfectly precious purple. And what does it say? Scrumptious waves of colour to brighten up your creativity. Scan me for more inspiration and ideas. I probably will have to do that because I don't have a clue. What is the matter with this camera today? That's it. <laughs> well, it was it. Scan me for more inspiration and ideas. I might, I might do that later, but... Oh. Right, so okay, that must be for adding glitter to your cards. A sort of shimmer to your cards and another project that's quite nice I don't mind that what is this this is star power ink what's star power ink Jane Davenport star power ink oh, for some reason my camera is not focusing today there we go so I'm not sure I better not do that because I don't know what happens if I do it. Um, okay. I have literally never heard of this or seen it before. So any hints and tips on that would be welcome. Oh, and here's another one. Pearlescent. That must be, that must pump up the, the ink into there. But what would you use this for? It's pretty enough, but I'm not really sure what use I would get out of that. Actually, the red's gone a really nice, I don't know if you can see that, but the red has gone like a really nice glitter. You can't see it, can you? Because my camera is really acting up today. Yeah, it's got a really nice shimmer on that. That's that's quite nice, actually. But what I would use it for? I have no idea. Distress Oxide Spray, Mermaid Lagoon. Okay, I have seen these knocking about in various videos. But I'm not sure if I would use them. I don't want to open it yet. 
because I might put there's a lot of this I might put for sale on my website this is obviously brand new ah shake well side to side before using to ensure the dye and pigment infusion is mixed thoroughly so I imagine you have to shake it like that so it doesn't get all bunged up in the nozzle hmm. one more thing and it's another distress oxide spray evergreen bow so shake it like that yeah if you can give me some good ideas on what to use any of these products for I'd be interested because I haven't got a clue I'll, I'll include that one because I got it a while ago and I've never used it I don't really know what to do with it but that's about it I just wanted to showcase some of the things I got and yet another I love buying mystery boxes but I am slightly disappointed with this one I have to admit there are some really nice things in it but not things that I would possibly use I mean these are I'll probably use and perhaps some of the texture pastes but I can't I can't really see me using anything else but never mind it's always a kind of surprise at the very least <laughs> when you open up a mystery box even if I am a bit disappointed with this one I don't I mean I don't suppose it's their fault they don't know what I use and what I don't use and but I feel as though possibly end of line products or products that are not very popular have been all bunged in and just sent to me but I hope that's not the case I mean I'm, not, I'm still not sure whether to get back in touch with them or not but never mind that's just a, a quick video just to showcase another mystery box and to have a bit of a moan as usual <laughs> But whatever the reason you've stick you've stuck with me through this video, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye bye now.